Hey YouTube, this is Fence Kid coming at you. Now when you think about cooking over fire, most people uh, think of a of this stuff. You know, using a lot of this, uh, building a big old fire, letting it reduce down to some coals, putting a grill over the coals, and getting your cooking on. And you're talking about using quite a bit of wood uh, to cook a meal. Like, you know, just like when you go camping. During an emergency, you're going to want to be using the least amount of wood as possible to do your cooking. In the winter time, you're loving it. You're going to be mainly doing all your cooking over your stove in your house that is heating your house. So that's about the only good thing I can think of bugging in in winter is that uh, you can get two birds with one stone. You're going to do all your cooking uh, with the heat produced uh, over your stove to heat your house. But in summertime, you're not going to be using your stove. You're going to be using uh, whatever you've got around to get the job done as far as cooking goes. Bam! That's when this bad boy comes into play. What you're looking at here is a rocket stove. This one came from Stove Tech. It's a well-made unit. It's solid. It's one piece. It's a big old honking, you know, I mean it's not too big. Half the size of a uh, five gallon bucket maybe. Burn chamber down in there. We've got a couple doors out here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Your main primary door is where you're going to feed your uh, your fuel. Well, you know, it comes with this bitchin' little rack here, and basically what you're going to be doing is using this stuff. The stuff you usually use to start a fire is the primary wood uh, that you feed into your burn chamber here. Okay? Like that. Uh, put your pan up top on top here and do cooking. It's awesome because it uses such a small amount of wood uh, to produce a nice flame up top to do your cooking on. Uh, check this out. When you eliminate this, the particular, they've got a couple different models over there at Stove Tech. Uh, but for example, like you see this door, when that door is shut and you load that up with, say, coal or charcoal briquettes or anything like that you've got a secondary door down here to control your airflow okay it also this particular stove I already showed you the rack there came with this other little grill like here that fits in here. and you can already see there's a grill in there so but I don't know what they're thinking it just drops in to catch the coal from dropping down in or catch the ashes I don't know if you'd be even needing it or using it, but it's there in case you need it. This stove also came with this little rig here. See this? This is an adjustable sleeve. Let me show you an example. Say your pot, you're using a pot. And what this does is, instead of the pot just sitting on top, okay, and all that heat that's going to be coming out of here, especially if there's a small breeze, uh, this sleeve, check it. You put that sleeve on top of the stove and then your pan inside there. It's obviously adjustable with these knobs so it's different size pans but it's going to be catching all that heat and keeping that heat around the base of your pan. Uh, and that's the punchline with that. Woohoo! Big deal, yeah? I think it's awesome. But today, this is a little function test. I'm not going to go too extensive, but we're going to fire it up, give you the idea how this bad boy works, and I'll just cook up a couple eggs, and I, dude, I'll bet I use half of this wood. That's it. That's all we're going to need uh, to cook a couple eggs up. So without further ado, let's fire it up and uh, cook up some eggs. All right, let's fire it up. I've got a little wood stacked up in there just right. I think a quick flame will take to that. There's no paper in there or nothing. Just a little bit of... There's a slight breeze today. I've got the... I've got it turned, uh, you know, the right direction so that that wind is coming at us from the back side. Now, when you're cooking with wood or this effect, you know, you're not doing the charcoal briquette type routine. You don't really even need to open up this bottom door because it's going to get here it goes already. Let's back it up. Oh yeah. Let's back it up a bit and there's my egg and there's, there's what's on the agenda today. 
All right, instantly. And all it is is just kind of feed it on in. We're gonna start heating our pan up already. That don't take long. Oh yeah. I mean, this is the kind of wood you can find anywhere. You know what I'm saying? You can get this, you can rake your lawn and get stuff to, to burn with this. You can burn pine cones, uh, anything really that's flammable. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. That's taken already. Nice. Just a little bit of wood. Conservation is the key when you're talking about an emergency. You don't want to be burning 10 pounds, 20 pounds of wood every day just to cook on. You're going to want to be saving that. Let's get that egg out of there. Oh yeah. That's taken right off. This won't take long at all. This is just demonstration purposes, I know, you know, it's not, you're going to need a little more wood to cook something else. Pot of stew, pot of beans, some rice whatever else. Let's open that up just for the heavens, just for the heck of it. Maximize our airflow. Come on, baby. I keep breaking this wood out of habit, you know, but that's what the rack is for. That rack will hold wood clear out. So you do, and the idea is you just keep pushing the wood up in there. Oh yeah. You know, if I was cooking something long, like rice or beans or anything like that, I would use coal. Drop a couple lumps of coal in there, that stuff burns forever. Briquettes, whatever you've got. There it is again, I keep breaking this stuff like I need to or something. And just like that, I think we're, I don't know. Got a nice little flame coming out. But these rocket stoves are the most efficient way to produce a heat, to cook a meal using the least amount of wood. Oh yeah, our pan's already... Got a nice breeze going. Be a lot more efficient without the breeze, but we'll let that heat up for a second. That's why chickens are so important. If you're a prepper and you don't have chickens on your list, I mean, talk to anybody that's got chickens, dude, and they've got eggs coming out of their, coming out of their ass, giving them away. They can't even keep up with it. So in a, in a bad situation, chickens are going to be awesome. Yeah, that breeze is just, look at that, just totally taking my flame sideways. Whoa. wood we've got left. Let's go. Not even. Damn! What's that song and dance all about? There we go. This wind is really tweaking me. I guess that's when the old, I don't know if that could even be used, you know, with that big old, with that shallow pan. I mean, half the flame's coming out of the mouth of the unit. That's, that's all wind related. definitely isn't a set it and forget it kind of cooking. You know what I'm saying? Oh. This is a sit here and maintain this fire kind of cooking. But in a hard time, it's not like you got any place to go. Get a little salt on there. I like a little salt on my egg. You know it. A little bit of pepper action going on. Oh, 
Yeah! You know, you don't want to stuff too much wood in there, dude. You know, you clog it out and you're getting a lot of, it's just a fine, it's like a carburetor, just the right amount of fuel to the right amount of air to get just enough flame, just the right amount of flame to get it going on. Come on now. Oh yeah. You know, I think cooking food storage is one of the most overlooked. I don't hear a lot of people talking about how they're going to cook all that, all that rice and all those beans. Oh yeah, now we're whoa. Now we're cranking, brother. That's just right. You just keep on feeding it in. You know, of course, if you were long term in it, you know, anything long like soup or anything like that, you'd, you'd have some coal in there as well. And then just like that. Oh, yeah. That's as good as done. And there's still plenty of uh, fuel left. So, I mean, this would just give you a basic idea how this works. But it's really, next thing I'm going to try is, uh, you know, the coal thing. Shut that door, load that up with coal cook a pot of rice or some beans or something like that and see just how much wood or coal we end up going through. Conservation is the key when you're talking about hard times. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, that's ready to rock and roll. So that gives you the gist of it. Just a little bit of, and you know, this is the kind of stuff you can find anywhere. You can find this stuff all over the place and this is what you're cooking with. You're saving all that big wood and all that big stuff for winter to heat your house, you know? I've seen plans on YouTube how to uh, build a rocket stove, you know, out of a, a paint can or all kinds of different things. So we're done on the egg, you get the idea. And so just like that, we're done. Anyway, this is Fence Kid coming at you, showing you my plan for summer cooking during a bug-in situation, an emergency, anything like that. This, uh, these rocket stoves are the way to go. Take it easy, guys. Peace.